Hey guys, today we're playing Omno, a demo that was sent to me via the press and whatnot. It's a little private little demo thing. Uh, and this was requested by Patreon subscriber Studley. Uh, please note you're going to see a pre-alpha. So it's, you know, it's the usual stuff. This is a pre-pre-alpha thing. I think they're doing a Kickstarter right now. I'll link if it's still a thing that's going on. Uh, but this is, the, this is a demo meant to promote said Kickstarter. But they're saying, hey, you know, try to ignore all the bad things because it's, it's a mess and we're literally doing a Kickstarter to develop it because this is how early this whole thing is and so on. My idea is 44822. What does that mean? I don't know. Anyway. Oops, what have I done? Resume. I pressed start. Start isn't applicable. Let's press L. I was using my controller, which it says I can use down there, but... Or we need L for that first screen. Hey there. Look at the little guy. Oh, okay. Okay, he's got a couple of tricks. So this is why. Oh, you can charge it up to make it seem more dramatic. This is B. Left, what is that saying? Map is not relevant for the demo. Ah, so left bumper would be the map. But there kind of isn't one. It looks like it's... Oh, he conjures a map above him. Look at that. All right. Got grass flow. Sim oh, no, there's no pause menu. Not really. Oh okay, yeah, if you open the pause menu, you you have to use the mouse to get out of it. All right, so look conversion is not going to be a thing for the moment. Not in this not in this iteration. We've got some flowered cacti, I think, mixed with flowing windy grass, kind of a mishmash. They might not be cactuses. They might they look like a simplified equivalent of one, but them being in this setting looks a little weird. So you can, you, there's no double jump, but you can short jump, high jump, based on how long you're holding it down. Definitely a stylized, simplified visual style. I kind of just reflexively wanted to pick those as green herbs because Resident Evil. There's a lens flare. Oh. Would you look at these rock patterns? My columnar joining sense is tingling. Are we gonna find it? Are we gonna find it around here? <laughs> you never know. You never know. Look at this. I guess, I'm guessing that's moss or lichen. Yeah. It's a really nice looking style. Admittedly, some of the games that use this style are kind of blending together a little bit, but it still looks nice. But this uh, particular polygon and color palette isn't exactly new at this point. Charge? Yeah? What have I done? Oh, you, can, you can press A to zoom in, which in this case it says X because it's defaulting to PlayStation controls for its button prompts. Ooh, dash. Right bumper. Okay, that looks neat. I always find that interesting when there's people that, like, if, you're, if you tell them the controls on PlayStation or Xbox standards, they genuinely can't convert from one to the other. I always find that really weird. So I'm like, oh god. Thanks for the checkpoint. <laughs> Because it always seems so... I don't know. It always seems so easy to convert from one to the other. I don't even question it if I see the other control prompts happening. And I'm not using that controller. I don't even have to translate. Especially since the two consoles have the same controller layout. Like, feeling-wise. Hey there. I think they said that there's going to be a Switch version. 
That was me gathering energy. Although I don't know if I, I don't know if I know what the energy is for yet. You can air dash. You cannot chain dashes though. Explorer stones. We have a collectible. Which rather explicitly is called Explorer Stones. Oh, the rest of them went away. So the little, the little pips that fly everywhere, the, en the energy motes, they expire. That must mean that they're, they're on some level not that mandatory or something. Oh, look at those guys. They hide into the rocks, use them as backpacks. Backpacks. Yeah, they, they use them as shelter. Like hermit spiders. <laughs> or beetles. Did I just finish charging, I get I guess. Ooh. Was there a ring to it before? Hey guy, how you doing? Lap crabs. Oh, he didn't like that. He pooped out the loot that he was hiding. But seems to otherwise be unharmed. I can only destroy the rocks that have the energy in it already. It may have its own significance. Oh, I think the camera pointed me up at the checkpoint. There we go. I'm guessing you're another checkpoint? Or it might be a button. The first checkpoint I found was... arguably C-shaped. This one's like a U. Or it's an archway sort of shape. It's hard to say. Because, you know, it's the kind of shape you could view from different directions and it would look like different things because you'd just, just be rotating it. Oh, there's something new up there. Oh. Oh. A vaguely braid-like mechanic where this thing moves up and down based on my proximity to it. Oh, they all do. That's not quite what it, what it was in Braid. In Braid, it was technically time moving forward and backwards based on your screen progression. I'm way the hell up here for some reason. Oh, I bet that they'll uh, catch me when I jump at them now. Or I can just miss. Cool. Good job, me. Yeah, all of them go up as I approach them except this one. This one seems to be trying to. Will it... Oh, okay. Yeah, there's no out racing it. When I jump at it, it moves at the pace that I move. So you can't, like, trick them. Or I can, I guess. Oh, maybe they have different maximum heights. That's probably it. They probably have different maximum heights. So I have to do them in the in that order. Yeah. Okay. Figured it out. And I'm exploding. Help me. Help. Hello. Ooh. There's like a Drake up, uh, Wyvern up there or something. It's gone now. It looks like a large ish demo. I'm gonna go ahead and ignore the collectible stuff for now. The 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 ore that's glowing. It seems to be kind of everywhere. I'm gonna go for the more meaty stuff just so we can move a little faster. I feel like we might be going a little slow. The email said that it was a 10 to 30 minute demo. Which obviously the top end of that serves my purposes for an episode, but that said, I feel like I'm going, making really slow progress by sitting here and trying to get every little moat from every little, uh... ore and enemy, or creature. I'll poke around and explore and see the unique ones, but then once, I, once I've established what something does, I'll move on. Instead of dwelling on getting every single one. It's not like, not like this is the beginning of a campaign, so... 
my total number of collectibles doesn't necessarily matter. Hey. Oh, that might be out of bounds over there. That might be hinting at an, a larger world that I can't access in this demo. There actually might be a lot less space to cover than I thought. What is that? What are you? You hand shoobs. Oh yeah, I can't even pick this stuff up anymore. I'm too powerful. And fully charged, and I can't do anything with it anymore. Shoobs. Alright, well they have a little panic attack every time they see me. Ooh, is the creature here? I saw a shadow move up over there. Is the creature back? I don't see it. I just wanted to get a look at the, the flying guy. Oh, look at that. And there's the flying creature too. Oh, that's why the shadow's moving so much is because it's such a low angle sun. That it's way the hell over there. Oh, we probably intentionally can't get a good look at either of those from here. Oh, look at that guy. That seems a little rough. He doesn't seem to have arms or legs, just four wings. Like a drone bird. You got that Colossus right there. In the current build, I'm guessing he's more or less just a silhouette. But I can make out antlers. Antlers and a tail. Compared to my current size, he's like Shadow of the Colossus size. He's pretty up there. That's a familiar creature. This kind of creature shows up in uh, in Monster Hunter, I think. Something that looks like a dragonfly with little glowy blob tail. That's not happening. There's something up there. And this is all boundary. Nope. Oh. No. The bugs show up a lot. I am wondering if I oh wait, is there like is there like an altar here? I'm wondering if I can make it up there. It might be a mistake to be doing this, but I'm kind of I'm kind of of as per usual habit, kind of avoiding the obvious objective that they pointed at earlier. But maybe I need to go activate that before these things do anything. There's definitely more up there. There's so many. Okay, that's a stock sound, though. You'll be able to read glyphs in the final game. Oh, okay. <laughs> do I do a thing with glyph, though? Oh, I think I don't do any... I don't think I do anything with the glyphs. Okay, never mind then. That's just a thing that will do something eventually. You really get a sense of how, how early we are. This is one of the explorer stones, right? Yeah. So I can't pick up anything that comes out of them at this point. There's no reward remaining. Mechanically. But I can still find them all. wonder what the last one is. Alright, so back to this thing. There's gotta be some way to get this working. Some way to climb up here that I'm just not finding the right approach for. Oh, activate. Oh, here? Oh, so we stored up a certain amount of stuff and then just push it in there. And now we're all out. Now I can go back to collecting the stuff. Is that how this works? No, I can't. Oh. I actually can't collect anymore. That might be due to lack of implementation more so than being an explanation of the game, though. I don't know. 
Or maybe its new state of being in here is the new point. Press X to drop. Hey. So I'm choosing which one's okay. I'm choosing which one's powered. I gotcha. Uh <gasps> Help. I don't... Wait. Could the dash direction be based on... Camera direction? Nope. So you can't dash up. Only forward. Uh, maybe you have to do whatever's over there first. This seems kind of unusable. Ooh! Oh, ho, ho, ho. Crucial mistake. Damn. I'm sorry. Just harming this child with my ineptitude. Okay. That does something I can work with. So when this isn't my staff, my ability is actually kind of dampened. Like I can't dash. It's, it's treating it almost like I'm carrying something heavy. Checkpoint. Oh. Okay. Be very careful here with the platforming. Oh boy. Trust the dash. Okay. There we go. Thankfully, the dash has a very reliable, specific range, so you can kind of work with that. Oh. Oh, boy. Here's where I start spamming dash way too much, like an annoying Symphony of the Night player that found out that Alucard's thing is what it is. Focus your view on the port stone to teleport. What? Oh. Okay, that was a cool visual effect. That was a cool way of exa of uh, displaying that. Where do I go from here? Will I actually gain access to that chunk of land? No, we're going that way. Yeah, the giant creature is on the chunk of land I can't go to. Oop, that looks cool. Oh, you can see him a lot better now, though. That's a whole model, yeah. He's got like a fur texture. A weirdly shovely head. And he's a surprising shape from this angle. His head kind of flattens out and tapers off. But he's got the antlers. Ah, shit. Oh, but there's a thing up there. I can see it. Come here. You cannot escape my might. Oh, is it here? Is this where I go? This is the correct approach. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, wow. That's not how you expect the physics to work on that character. That little slant of rock is like covered in oil apparently. So you just go sliding right off. Look at this. There's another one. Oh, is it over? Yep, there it goes. Thank you for playing the pre-alpha Kickstarter demo. Oh, wait, am I still going? They're probably showing me the variety of appearances a bit. Oh, yeah. Here's here's your, your explicit... Here's your explicit journey reference. 
explicit journey reference with the uh, the sand surfing area and so on. All right. So uh, the way I take it is this is probably a little less like journey overall and a little closer to like that one like Abzu or maybe that one that one that platforming ballerina game I played for the PS4 that I don't remember the name of right now that also had a I think it also had a somewhat baffling four letter name or something. But yeah, if you want another if you want to go check out like a a chill pretty exploration platformer type game then uh maybe the kickstarter's for you i've uh i've voiced before how my own opinion of kickstarters and not being i've, I've kind of soured on the idea but you know you're all adults so you can make your own you're gonna make your own damn decisions unless you're not adults in which case uh stay away from your parents credit card uh you'll you'll have your own money eventually Hang, just chill. <laughs> in fact, some of these Kickstarter games are such long projects that you'll be an adult before uh, they actually come into fruition in some of these cases. Surf through the rings. It says end of demo, but it has, but it gave me a whole new zone to tool around in. It's a weird mixed message, isn't it? What do you do? What do you do? I think the implication is that this place... Oops. There's the surf button. There's the invisible wall right here. I think the implication here is that the there's, there's not going to be like an end point, necessarily. But yeah, they give you a, a fun little zone to play around in, but but before you even play around with it, they're already saying, here's the demo, here's the trailer button, stop playing. Oh my god. Seriously, stop playing. It's the end of the demo. You say that, but that just happened. Like, come on, man. I feel like you're selling yourself short a little bit. I'm. Let's see. Is there anything else to do? The surfing is a. The surfing looks neat. This is like the most exciting part of the demo, and they're like, "Stop playing it. Stop looking at it. Stop warping around and having fun." Don't do the cool thing where you catapult to the sky. No, stop it. It's over. <laughs> that actually might be it, though. Oh, God. He's going to die. Ooh. You can, you can chain dashes in midair. It just has to be a big enough fall that you can do it again. But when I fell long enough, I was able to do more dashes. And then eventually, even since the dash button's the same one that you used to go to warp points, you ended up going in there. No, I think that I think I thought I thought it was on a timer at first, but it, them saying seriously stop playing might have been synced up with me doing the catapult, the the man cannon from Halo, because uh, this that's probably the last thing you can do in this game. Boom! Redirecting in midair is pretty satisfying. All right, let's press T.
That's a nice visual design. I like Hi, the, cre like the creatures. Ah. And I'm the solo developer behind ah. <laughs> Person. I started working on Omno two years ago, and I do pretty much everything by myself. So that's programming, designing, animating, and all the other stuff. The reason I decided to work as a solo developer was so I could create the game exactly as I imagined it. I've worked for over 10 years as a character animator in the film and games industries. I'm using what I've learned to create a game that can hopefully reach players emotionally. Breathing life into things, especially in 3D, is a real challenge, but it's also the best way to express my thoughts and feelings about the themes that I tackle in Omno. So far, making Omno has been the most exciting and hardest challenge of my life. I'm a married man and a dad of three young wonderful kids, so as you can imagine, most of Omno's development was during late nights after my day job. After getting loads of positive feedback on social media, I decided to go full-time in March. I took the chance to invest all of my time and energy into finishing Omno and making my dream come true. I've never asked for help before, so going to Kickstarter is really a big deal for me. The success of Omno depends on your support and valuable feedback. Now the game is fast approaching the finish line. The tech and mechanics are complete. All that's left is to expand the landscapes, add more creatures and extra content for you to explore and enjoy. So if you like what you see, I would be grateful for your support so we can finish Omno together. And we're back to the screen. All right. Well, there we go. I don't know if the Kickstarter is still happening or not. I might have missed the window or something, but I'll link to the page. I was glancing at it and I couldn't quite tell at first glance what was happening, but they might, they, it looks like they might have additional uh, funding options via like uh, Indiegogo or PayPal. So. You can probably get involved in this development if you so choose to do so. But otherwise, uh, I'm just going to plop four games on the screen related to this if you want to just keep watching videos that are like this, because I've actually played a fair number of games that are a bit similar. I still can't remember the name of the ballerina game, but there's also Abzu and Journey and Rhyme, which is probably the first one that should have come to mind as being that kind of style, but also being more puzzle platformy, which is where this is going more. So check out some related games and, you know, make your own decisions about whether you want to support this development project and so on. Thanks to the developers sending in the, uh, the demo over. Thanks for watching like always, guys, and I will see you next time.